to be a sword. It could be uh, something like, like this. Drinking horn. And you could make a belt loop for this. This one's made from thin leather, like the pouches I made. And it's again sewn together, not riveted. But uh, this time we're using stronger leather. That's uh, three millimeter thick leather. And that's easier to rivet than to sew. So, circumvents. This is the thickest part of the blade. And you can measure it with measuring tape. Or just get it like this. Not this long. Again, I am marking on the back side of the leather and I want a piece of uniform width so I start about here. Again, I squared off just eyeballing it. Or you could use a square to make sure it's good and square. Mark it that way. Oh, this doesn't look square at all. But it's the back side, so not really worried that I have to mark it again. This looks better. All right, now to cut it. I use the carpet knife and you could want a sharp knife so it's easy to cut. So you could either put in a new blade or you sharpen your blade because I'm a miser. I want to use my tools for a long time. I have this Belgian stone, it's a whetstone with about 3000 or 5000 grit so it's really smooth. and just pull your knife a few times over it even if it's dry it's good enough to make the carpet knife good and sharp again And as you can see, eyeballing it, it's good enough. Good enough for a belt loop. Furthermore, we need a loop that goes around the actual belt. I think I'm going to make it uh, from this one. My belt is about as thick as this year, so I just loop it around, see how long it goes. 
this part here, very tip, it's ugly, so I cut it off, get rid of it. Just use the rest. That looks about right. Could now mark it down and then cut it. I'll just cut it. Now, this isn't rectangular at all. So I fold it over like this. mark what I need to cut off to make it good and square. Good enough. Right. These are two pieces, and they fit together like this. But this is undyed leather, so if you use dyed leather, you don't have to do the next step. But as this is undyed leather, I will dye it with some leather dye. Will not die in this case. Everything that dyes leather is also really good at dyeing your skin. So you want to use rubber gloves. The best way I found to apply leather dye, it's just uh, use a handkerchief or anything, and then just rub it in with circular motions. This way, it spreads out nice and uniformly. If you were to use like uh, brushes, it's really hard to get it good and uniformly and get stripes in the finished product. It's not pretty at all. Also going to use something called edge coat, which is a product you can use to paint on the edges, so uh, they are more durable and look nicer. It's a bit like acryl paint. Very similar in use. Just paint it on here. And after you are finished dyeing and painting your leather, You want to let it dry for half an hour or an hour. So it's good and dry before you do the next step. So again, you won't dye your hands on the dyed leather. 
This will take a while, so I'll get back to you once I'm finished. Okay, we're back. This is now fully painted. It's dried for an hour. Now it's time to assemble it. I'm going to make two holes into the belt loop. And I'm marking down where on the other side the holes need to be. I make these holes. Now, this has to go on here like this. Or like this, if you want to um, make it a little slimmer. I think I'm going to do it like that. So, let's see, where's the middle? Eyeballing it again. You may want to measure this. I think this is good enough. I have to think, this is a simple belt loop, not a leather scabbard or anything. This is something your character might do on its own, on his own, um, when he is uh, maybe evening at the campfire. Or when he is, uh, has watch, longer rivets. These are also brass rivets, so uh, they look a lot nicer. Then uh, black ones out before. These are like 50 millimeters. Rivets are fairly easy to use. Just push them through all the stuff you want to rivet together. Put the cap on it. And then you take a hammer and I've got an anvil under my table. Now let me put it out. Here. You don't necessarily need an anvil to do this, but I found that this is uh, the easiest and best way to do it. I put that other rivet on so I can hammer them both at the same time. And this won't come apart anytime soon. Now, oh. so it has to come together like this. So let's make a few holes. I think three is enough. Now, bind it all together. Sometimes it's hard 
get uh, this leather strings through the holes. I like to thin out the edge a little bit so you can get it through easily. Yeah, like this. Maybe even thinner. Yeah. Should be able to pull this through. Is a tight fit. Alright, there are several ways you could string this. You could uh, knot it down one side and then just go in one direction, like you would be swinging this. You could go crosswise, or you could go crosswise and always from inside to outside, like I'm doing now. And let's tie it down. As you can see, simple ragged belt loop, sword holder, or axe holder, or horn holder. And you can easily adjust the size of it via the strong part at the front right here. Oh, let's see if it fits. Yes, nice. Want to see? how this looks on a belt, how it's actually worn. I'll show you in the bonus vid. Now I'm going to put some oil, some ballistol on it, wrap it down real quick and it will be done. So, here it is. That's it for today. If you liked this video Consider liking it down below and subscribing to my channel. Thanks and goodbye.